Hey guys, it's me, Elena. One year ago, Dolly Magazine Dolly brought made a collaboration with the Japanese company Abitsu. The result of this collaboration was two dolls made in different color schemes, mint and lavender. I was lucky enough to attend the event where those dolls were presented for the first time. They were for a few months up for pre-order exclusively on Hobby yeah. Japan and Amiami stores. The dolls' dresses and eye designs were created by a famous Japanese dolly artist Sleep. They often make cute doll clothes and other doll-related things. You can visit their Twitter to see more of their works. Her box is so beautiful. I wasn't prepared to get this doll in such a stunning box. It is white overall and on the front there is a big drawing of the doll. It is colored in a gradient which goes from a mint to purple. This picture is not cut with the box edges and spreads onto their sides. On the bottom of the drawing it's written cotton candy and the name of the the queen of this video, Yayasaka Shino. Vertically, there is a name of Abitsu Company's doll line, Uniform Project. On the top, there is a blue round sticker, which is supposed to mean that inside is a mint version of the doll. I found on Twitter that another doll's box looks the same and has an orange sticker. On the back of the box, there is an Abitsu logo made in the same gradient colors, mint and lavender. A bit lower down is caution information. Abitsu Company information and Hobby Japan company information. It is also noted that this doll is for people 15 years old and up. Here we also see a barcode which says that this is a mint version of the doll and another round mark of a blue color. There is no usual price tag but I paid 20,500 yen for her on the official Hobby Japan website. When I took off the plastic wrapping, I love that while the box is matte, all the squares with sticks are glossy. It gives it such a luxurious feeling. Right after we open the box, we see the doll's beautiful booklet. On the front there is the same gorgeous illustration as on the box, but bigger. Here we can already see the doll's dress with cute cats on it. In the same style as on the box, it's written in Japanese saying that it is a doll's manual. A bit lower in English it says cotton candy, mint and lavender, Shina Ayasako sleep model. Inside we see both versions of the doll at full height, their illustrated set details and also information about changing head cup and turning eyes. Everything is already familiar to us, especially after my recent review of Sugar Cups Cutie Biscuitina by Aizen. You can find her unboxing my channel. Apparently this booklet and the box are the same for both dolls. Smart move. On the back of the booklet there is the same view as it was on the box back, Obitsu logo and million of caution information and other boring details. Boring. The doll has long wavy hair. It consists of lavender and light brown strands. She has shorter locks going around her head. What is very rare for dolls? No bangs. Oh, what is that? Seems like her head cup is painted in a grape color and right in front where the hair is separated we can see a little bit of this paint. It's very difficult to cover it and as I noticed on other photos including official ones it's not a bug, it's a feature. As we already know the head underneath is painted in a grape color. As with other Abitsu dolls you can take off the head cup to change or move your eyes and also put on some other rigid hair head cup or a wig. Her skin tone is called super white and she looks extremely pale next to other Abitsu dolls I have. Her face up is very cute and made in natural brown color. She has a slightly smiling mouth with a little touch of lipstick. I was surprised to see that she has blush not only on her cheeks but also on her forehead. It adds even more cuteness and some freshness. As I mentioned before, her eyes have a special design by sleep. They 
they're olive in color with white flares inside them, which reminds me of planets in space. They look really dreamy compared to the usual, not custom eyes. They lack a realistic transparent dome. This dome usually creates a similar effect as a human eye, giving it depth. Here, the iris itself is dome shaped. I can't say that it looks bad. I think it makes the eye look more magical and unreal. It might even have some advantage during photography, creating less flashes. Oh, look at her. They put all her clothes separately except her panties. They let her keep some dignity. They are made from a white knit material with little dots. Around the top part they have ruffles from the same material. On the side there are blue balls with the little pearl beads in the center of them. Top part is stretchy. Her knee socks are made from a thick white cotton fabric. They have an interesting pattern printed on the front. It has a rose of purple balls on a green curvy background. Though I like the idea, I am not a big fan of quality. The print is not very clear and it seems like one of the socks is less saturated than the other one. Did the color just run out in their printer? I contacted the Hobby Japan support and they agreed that this is a defective product. I got a replacement. Yay! The dress is very pretty and unusual. The collar is V-shaped and has white and mint stripes. Underneath the collar is soon a thin net fabric. I think it's made to make the collar less thick, compared to if it would be using the same fabric for both sides. In the middle there is a blue bow with a pearl bead, same as on her panties. The main body part is made from a cotton fabric similar to t-shirts and hoodies. Sleeves are the length to the elbow. They are made from the same net fabric as her panties and on the end they have mint and white striped fabric. The skirt part is very interesting print made by slip. It is also in white and mint stripes and on the stripes it has little forks and spoons with purple balls. Closer to the bottom there is on a dotted background white cat illustrations. They also have purple balls on their necks. On the background there is also burgundy balls on a brown line. Here also is printed a little signature of the artist. The edge is decorated with white lace. Underskirt is soon to the rest. The same familiar white net fabric with laces which are flower shaped. The dress is fastened behind with white velcro. This velcro is unusual to me, kinda softer. Maybe it won't ruin everything that it touches with its little hooks. Her dress has a special separate part which goes on top of it. It's made from a white net with dots. The same as we saw on her sleeves and panties. The straps are made from white laces. On the front there are three faceted golden beads. There is also a big bow on the waist area made from the same net fabric. Right on top of the double ruffle there are two white and mint bows on the front of the skirt. The whole topper is fastened from behind with a metallic snap. The underskirt is again made from the same net fabric. It has a string in the waist area. In the middle with there is a white bow with a little pearl bead. On the bottom there are two layers of ruffles. Doll's headband has a white plastic base. Attached in an unusual way is a big double bow. It is so not as usual on the top of the base but to the front. I think that if you put it on the doll's head, the bow will slide a bit up so the base won't be visible. The bow has a thick white and mint stripes. Attached to one of the corners is a little golden metallic heart. Compared to the usual to us Aizen shoes, Abitsu often make raisin shoes. I think with the raisin shoes they can achieve a more realistic appearance, but at the same time they could have some limitations too. Those are brown Mary Jane style shoes. On their side there are little buckle imitations. Buckles are basically the only painted part, everything else is the same brown color. They have a little heel. On the sole there is an Abitsu logo and right and left letters indicate. Gators.
As always for a pizza doll, they put a package of hands, six whole pairs. They are made from a soft material. There are victory gestures, fists, pointing hands, holding something hands, spreaded fingers, and more elegant finger spreaded gestures. There are also a few neck connectors for hybridization purposes. More about that in my video where I put Aizen doll head on the pizza body. There is also a ball cup, so you can buy wigs for the dolls separately and put them on, similar to the bigger dolls like BJD, Smart Doll or Dolphy Dream. Her outfit is unique. Her eyes have a limited design which stands out among all eyes Abitsu sells. Her hair is a very pretty color and there are no bangs. I had a few disappointments during the unboxing, but Hobby Japan fixed the socks problem by sending me a new pair. What is your opinion about her? Were you able to grab one during her pre-order on Ami Ami? I would be happy if you subscribe yeah. to my channel and tap the like and bell buttons. It's not difficult for you, but will make a huge impact for my videos. I'm always happy to read your comments and talk about dolls, so feel free to comment. Love dolls and con con!